Hey there, just wanted to do a quick video with you about troubleshooting with your plexus regimen. And I wanted to do this because I lately have been doing a lot of troubleshooting calls with our team and I wanted you to know the basics of troubleshooting. So hopefully, you know, in many cases you might be able to um, help your customers or your ambassadors on your own. Um, and if not, please don't hesitate to ask me, but I did want to go over the basics with you for troubleshooting. So first of all, um, are you sure that the person you're trying to help is taking the correct products to meet their goals? Um, that's really important, something to consider. So if you're not sure, please make sure that you ask someone that's really experienced and that can give you the best product recommendations. Next of all, I would say, are they taking the products correctly? There's a lot of, you know, factors behind taking the products at the right time, um, the right dosage, and consistency to make sure that people are getting the best results possible. So, um, just to go over some of the basics on the products, I'll cover the triplex just because that's the most um, popular combination and by far um, the one that I troubleshoot the most with. So with the Slim, the developers of Slim let us know that Slim is most effective first thing in the morning before you eat or drink anything else. And you wanna take it with between eight to 12 ounces of water. You don't wanna dilute it too much because you want to get the most bang for your buck out of it, okay? So mix it up, drink it fresh. Don't pre-mix it the night before. It loses some of its effectiveness and um, and its potency if, if you let it sit too long. So um, mix it up fresh, drink it within you know less than 30 minutes and wait 30 minutes before you eat or drink anything else. The reason that you want to do this is so it will process through your liver undiluted and that's when you'll get the most benefit from your slim. I know that can be difficult with some people's schedules but that's when you'll get the best benefit. It's all about being consistent and taking your product every day too, okay? It's all about consistency. So are they taking the product every day? It's so critical, so critical that they're drinking at least half their body weight in ounces of water each day, particularly with the Slim because otherwise they can experience some detox symptoms, especially in the beginning. So you want to make sure that they understand even before day one on Slim that they know um, that throughout the day they need to drink at least half their body weight in ounces of water to flush those toxins out appropriately and so they don't feel icky. All right, then with the bio cleanse, um, you want to first of all just have them do the slim alone for three days so they can really let their body adjust to that and feel the benefits that they get just from slim alone. On day four, add half a dose of bio cleanse, which is um, one capsule between breakfast and lunch and one between lunch and dinner. You don't want to take BioCleanse with any other product because if so, you're just flushing that product out of your system and you're not getting as much benefit from the BioCleanse itself, okay? You don't want to take it at the same time as food either. So, I mean, soon before, soon after isn't that bad, but um, like preferably an hour's worth would be best. Um, so then after you do a half a dose of BioCleanse for a few days, then you know, if someone is in average health and doing fine with that, the slam once a day, a half bio cleanse, up to two bio cleanse between breakfast and lunch, two between lunch and dinner. And if someone is um, has particular constipation issues and constipation or irregularity has been an issue for them, then they may need, they may need to do six bio cleanse um, for a while to really get that moving. So what I now tell um, the people that I work with is, uh, if you need more than four bio cleanse a day to have two bowel movements or more a day, then take six a day until you're consistently having at least two bowel movements a day. Um, then, you know, if at that point you can back down slowly to four and still maintain that, then that's great. But 
pooping is one of the most important things, you guys, and that's one of the first things that I ask people when I do troubleshooting calls. How often are you pooping? That is hugely important. We want to see people flushing at least two to three times a day. And in the beginning, they might they may flush a lot more than that, and that's okay. Sometimes that scares people. I've talked to some people that get really scared because they have diarrhea. And you know what, to be honest, you're detoxing. You may detox for months, and that's okay. You've got a lot of built up toxins in your system for years and years and years. It may take months to clean that out. And so as long as you're drinking the appropriate amount of water, then don't be afraid if you have diarrhea for a few months, okay? Um, till you really get cleaned out. And so that's BioCleanse. ProBio5, um, I recommend you get to a full dose of BioCleanse for a few days, um, a week, and then start to introduce the ProBio5 into your regimen. So start with just one a night, right before bed is when it's most effective. The reason is, it works best in a resting and fasting state. And so start with just one at night, um, right before bed the first week that you start the bio cleanse. So now you're on slim every morning, a full dose of bio cleanse throughout the day, two times, and then the Pro Bio 5 at night. Second week, if you're feeling great, go ahead and increase it to two Pro Bio 5 at night. Third week, if you're ready, go for three. Fourth week, four per night. And you wanna stay there until you have zero symptoms of candida overgrowth. And I have a very, very, um, I have a graphic that I use all the time that displays the most common symptoms of overgrowth and people are shocked to find out how common these symptoms are. And they didn't realize that, you know, that can be linked to gut health. A lot of them, they just think, oh, I'm just getting older. Oh, I'm, of course I'm tired, I have kids or whatever it is. So um, until you have zero symptoms of candida overgrowth and you can look at that list and say, I don't have any of this, then I would recommend you're on four ProBio5 every night. That's an aggressive dose to eliminate that overgrowth. And if you're only taking two ProBio5 at night, um, uh, you're just, that's a maintenance dose. That's to keep your gut at the level of health that it's currently at. So don't go down to a maintenance dose until you can look at that list and say, I have zero of these symptoms. For some people, that may just be a couple months on that high dose of ProBio5. For others, they may need to be there for a year or longer. Um, it really depends on the the level of, of um, like how severe your candida overgrowth is, and everyone has it. It's just some people have it a lot worse than others. Um, if you have, autoimmune disorders and really, really major health issues, then you're gonna need to be on that higher dosage for a lot longer than someone with just average health, you know? So just keep that in mind. Yeah, it's an extra bottle of ProBio5 every month, but it is so worth it because if you don't do that and eliminate that overgrowth and the excess, then I don't believe you're ever gonna have the really big results. So that's kind of troubleshooting with ProBio5. Are they drinking enough water? How often are they pooping every day? Are they taking their products at the correct time? Um, then I would say, you know, if people start to get um, bloated or gassy or headaches or, you know, nauseous, those are very common symptoms of candida die off. And so you want to be aware of what candida die off is and what the symptoms are. There can honestly be hundreds of symptoms because they can be. Usually a lot of times they're very similar to the candida overgrowth symptoms that you have in the first place to start with. So let's say you already had an issues with issue with migraines or with um, anxiety, panic attacks or um, eczema. So in the beginning when you're starting to kill that overgrowth, then it may flare up and your symptoms may get temporarily a little worse than they were even before. If that's the case, the worst thing you can do is stop your products because there's a breakthrough on the other end of that tunnel that's gonna make you feel better than ever and you just have to get there. So understand that that's part of the healing process is that candida overgrowth and you want to make sure that your customers and your ambassadors are aware of that and you can talk them through it. If they start to have some overgrowth symptoms, I recommend a really high dose of great vitamin C every day. You can't really overdose on vitamin C. So take a lot of vitamin C every day to help with those symptoms. And you can also take Epsom salt baths and scrub your skin and scrape your tongue. You can buy a, a tongue scraper. All those will help to eliminate toxins from your body faster. So that can help you get through the overgrowth um, quicker and more comfortably. It's all about drinking the water too. Don't forget that water. 
and um, if it gets to the point where it's really uncomfortable for someone, then encourage them, you know what, let's just have you back down on the ProBio 5 for a week or so, um, you know, have them decrease by one or whatever, just to temporarily get through that phase. And just be aware that candida overgrowth comes and goes in waves. So just because you've had a breakthrough and you feel better than ever and your symptoms are, you know, temporarily gone, um, give it some time because most of the time you'll have waves of that before it's all final and done. So just keep that in mind. I don't recommend backing down to a, um, a maintenance dose on the ProBio 5 until you, you've gone several weeks to maybe a month without any symptoms whatsoever. Um, so that's probably the more common things that I could share for troubleshooting. If you do find that you're working with a case that's a little more extreme or you know this is something I've never heard before, please ask on our group um, for suggestions and if, if you don't get the help that you need there, um, please feel free to ask me. I've got some really, really incredible contacts um, that I can you know consult and go to that are really, really experienced. A lot of them have nutritionist backgrounds or medical backgrounds that can be really helpful as well. Because we're not doctors and these products are natural, plant-based. And so, you know, they're really safe for most everyone to use, but we wanna make sure that, um, you know, we're, as we're troubleshooting with people, that we're really being effective in making sure we're giving them, we're giving them the best support possible. So that's it for troubleshooting and I hope you have a great day.